Welcome to the do's and don'ts of fire safety. I am Staff Sergeant Johnson with the 56 Fire and Emergency Services Flight, 56 Civil Engineering Squadron. Because your safety is our top priority, here are some basic instructions to ensure the well-being of yourself and others. Do take every emergency seriously, even during false alarms. The more info we can get reduces the time spent addressing the emergency. Better to be safe than sorry. Don't hesitate to call 911. All 911 calls on Luke Air Force Base route directly to our dispatch for any emergency. It's imperative that residents and uh, occupants of these facilities dial 911, even if it's an accident, just to let us know what's going on. That way first responders know what they're getting into before they get there. Don't ignore any building alarm. Even during a drill, you must immediately exit the premises as soon as possible when you hear the alarm. When you exit a room, do check the temperature of the metal door handle. If it's hot, use not. Uh, depending on what floor you are, uh, you may be able to exit through a window. Um, if you're too high, ideally go to, near the window and uh, open it and try to flag down anybody so we know that you're in there. Do maintain your alarm systems regularly, at least every six months to ensure good working order. Don't ever tamper with any alarm. Doing so puts your life at risk of fire, smoke inhalation, carbon monoxide poisoning, and other risk factors. Smoke detectors are in all of our sleeping quarters here on the installation, and uh, they're there basically to wake up an occupant if a fire starts while they're sleeping. Uh, and if they're not uh, working or disconnected, uh, then uh, a person can basically die of a lack of oxygen due to the fire. I can't echo it enough that dialing 911 um, for emergencies and, and letting us know what's wrong up front, um, it really expedites the right resources uh, to render your emergency or problem uh, safe. Thank you, and remember, everyone is equal when it comes to safety.